My peace, salam and regards to all of you comrades from across the globe. Representing my people from Jammu and Kashmir, the land of beauty and suffering in South Asian region, hereby I convey my special solidarity with the people of Cuba and just struggle against imperialism. No doubt that the United States of America is no more a superpower of 70s or 80s and its decline has stopped since years. But this does not mean that the people of world are no more under oppression. Colonialism is now emerging in new faces and shapes, forms and formats. The people of Palestine are under the highest pressure not only on behalf of the Zionist regime and occupiers, but also as a result of backstab by the several Arab countries that are one by one normalizing their ties with the Zionist regime. They are being forgotten even by their own Arab fellows. Palestine is no more an Arab issue, but an issue of humanity for which all human beings should devote themselves to eradicate this illegal fascist racist entity, Zionism. My people in German Kashmir are at the edge of facing a new Palestine in South Asian region after its autonomy was stripped at August 2019. Millions of outsiders are being offered citizenship and the legal prevention for purchasing land by outsiders in German Kashmir has been removed. A substantial demographic change is underway just because my people want their basic rights of self-determination affirmed by United Nations. World should know that if the Kashmir issue is not resolved by a just solution, this region will remain at the corner of a new war. Hardline parties and groups in different countries are increasing pressure on the people of other faiths. Millions of Rohingya refugees are far from their homeland in refugee camps. Australia admits war crimes, which is actually tip of the iceberg, during its collaboration with US forces in the occupation of Afghanistan to escape from the international legal persecutions. United States of America puts its pressure on International Criminal Court, ICC, not to bring forth the files of war crimes in Afghanistan. United Kingdom passes laws to give immunity to its staff and army for the war crime being committed by them in Iraq. Canada opens arms for West Asian refugees, meanwhile keep on sending weapons to Saudi Arabia, killing innocent Yemeni kids. Iran is fighting COVID pandemic amid the highest and the most severe sanctions of the history of modern world. My dear comrades, yes, United States of Americans' imperialism is on decline, but this does not mean that the culture of colonialism is on decline as well. For that, we need to fight, we need to unite. For such a fight, borders should be ignored and every each of us consider the issues and the causes of others as their own causes. Long live fight against any sort of imperialism.